find the radius and the center of the circle whose equation is 3x squared plus 3y squared plus 18y minus 12x minus 9 is equals to 0. So to find the radius and the center of the circle, there are a few things that you need to do. When you look at all these uh, terms, uh, it is possible to divide each and every term in order to simplify the equation by 3. So if you divide each term by 3, this is what you're going to have. You divide by 3 everything. So when you divide by 3, you'll get uh, this will be x squared. Then this one will be y squared. Then this one will be 6y. Then this one will be negative 4x. Then this one will be negative 3 is equals to 0. So that is what you get. Now after getting that, um, you can take the constant term to the right hand side. So the constant term here is negative 3. So we have x squared plus y squared plus 6y minus 4x. When you take negative 3 to the right hand side, you get positive 3. Now the next thing we're going to do is to complete uh, the incomplete squares here. Uh, when you look at x squared minus 4x, we need to complete that square. So this is how I'm going to organize that. So we have uh, x squared, then minus 4x, then we have to complete that square. And then for y, we have y squared plus 6y. We also need to complete that square so you need to complete this square as well then everything equals to 3 so to complete this square here x squared minus 4 x uh, we get half the coefficient of x half the coefficient of the coefficient of x is uh, negative 4 so negative 4 divided by 2 then you square that negative 4 divided by 2 you get negative 2 so negative 2 squared you will get that one as so i can just write it here negative 4 divided by 2 we square that is how we're going to get that then plus y squared plus 6y plus the coefficient of y half the coefficient of y then you square that and then for the right hand side this is something that you're going to do the right hand side so we have three whatever we add here whatever we add here uh, which is uh, uh let's proceed in the next step so that we may get the exact uh, value that you're supposed to add so this one will give uh, x squared minus 4x this will give uh, plus this will be 4 then plus y squared plus 6y then this one will be plus 9 is equals to 3 then we add whatever we added we added 4 there so we have to add 4 here then we added 9 so you add 9 there you add 9 so now you can see what you're having so now we have the complete square we can factorize these if we factorize x squared minus 4x plus 4 we will get x minus this will be 2 squared we factorize that then for these we factorize y squared y squared plus 6y plus 9 we will get y plus 3 is squared is equals to uh, add these these will be 16 give you 16 now after getting that you notice that this is the standard equation of a circle and the standard equation of a circle is given by x squared minus a or x minus a squared sorry x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equals to r squared so you can compare these terms where a b gives the center and of course the r is the radius so if we compare if we compare this one you'll be able to get the answer uh, a in this case uh, a will be given by you just compare negative a is equals to negative 2 so a is equals to 2 
it will be 2 then b negative b is equals to 3 negative b is equals to 3 so b is equals to negative 3 so in this case this is our center this is our center and then for the radius uh, radius is uh, just compare radius squared is equals to 16 so look at this radius squared is equals to 16 so radius is equals to 4 so that is how you get the center and the radius so we have radius as 4 uh, because radius squared is equals to 16 so radius is equals to 4 and then the center the center is here or the center is 2 negative 3 symbol symbol symbol